Hey, Sneakers, back in the house, back in the house, yes. It's coming up to the weekend again, more videos. Today we have Solus OS, released in January, this one. Okay, so that's the latest I could find. It's not the snapshot, I don't think. No, this is the ordinary one. And this is with the Mate desktop, or Mate, or depending on what you want to call it. But it says Mate to me, so we'll go from there. Anyway, it's the first time I've been able to try Solus on real hardware for quite a long while. Now I've got plenty of machines ready and up and ready to go, etc, etc. And so I thought, give this one a good go, okay? So we will. Now I remember when Solus first came around, many, many moons ago, and it changed names, and then we had different stuff, and now we're back to Solus. And good news all around, I think. So, where should we start? Well, Mate Desktop. Got the usual here. I've added a few little bits and bobs myself, and installed a few programs, obviously, so we can do what we're doing here. I've downloaded a temperature monitor here for my CPU, which is a quad core. And we've got a monitor here for my motherboard temperature. And a monitor here for my CPU temperature. Blah, 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 Lovely. Microphone, because I'm recording via microphone, of course. There's a simple screen recorder, because I'm using a simple screen recorder to record this video for you. Okay, we also have a volume control, time, date, calendar. Yeah, does what it says on the tin, okay. On the desktop, normally you only get computer, your home, and wastebasket. I've actually put Firefox and Steam on here because I'm just going to make sure everything was hunky dory. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, of course you do, because that's what I do. Okay, let's start. Really fast and easy to use. I like it. Bearing in mind this CPU must be 2009. Yeah, it's got to be at least 2000, or maybe earlier. I, I don't know. We'll have a look in a minute, just just to find out. Okay, menu. Nice menu. Nice and bright. Nice and quick. Whoosh. That's what I really like nice quick menu so we'll start under accessories so you get known discs or discs Let's open up for you so you can see what i'm doing as you can see it's got one terabyte drive in here hunky dory that's what it says on the tin yeah and i've got a four gig of swap because i've only got about three gig of memory in this one i must dig out some other stuff to get it done properly but of course if you know about discs you can like do usb sd cards etc write images whatever you want to really nice and this is all default, by the way. I'll go through the default ones. When I come to one I've installed, I'll let you know, okay? You also get, in Grumper, Archive Manager, Make Search Tool, Passwords and Key. I'll open it for you so you can have a quick look. Here you can store all your keys for all your different stuff. Which you know I'm saying. Of course you do. Because it's secret. Shh. Hush, hush. Don't tell anybody. Okay. Next. We'll go past that now. Education. Of course, I've installed LibreOffice. Yeah, I've installed LibreOffice. And you only get LibreOffice Math in Education. There's no other educational software here. Under Games. Of course, I've installed Steam. Nice. I'm not going to open up on this one. Might do on another video. We'll see how we go. Under Graphics. Of course, you get LibreOffice Draw because it comes with the whole suite. You also get I Have Mate Imager for viewing your images. And Mate Color Selection. And uh, Intranet. We get the Fox as standard. So that's lovely. Hex Chat as standard. Thunderbird is standard. I didn't install it. It was already there. I no, honestly, it was already there. And Transmission for your torrents. And Vivaldi I installed. It's a different browser. I might open it up later and let you have a look, okay? Obviously, I've installed LibreOffice. Yeah, so I'll open it up for you. What's right? Open up Writer for you so you can see what it's like. You know what it's like, but I'm just showing you what the machine is like to use in the real world. Because it's real hardware. But this is real old hardware. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Old. So, yeah, works all right, doesn't it? I mean, I was going to try the Budgie desktop, but I thought, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll wait until there's another update. Then I'll do Budgie. See, we'll go from there. Don't do them all at once. A bit, a bit greedy, would we? Anyway, LibreOffice is super. What else can you do? Plenty. <sighs> Sound and video. Rhythmbox is your default music player of choice. Now, this is not everybody's cup of tea. I still like it, but my own choice is Clementine, okay? But Rhythmbox, it does what it says. It does loads of stuff that you want it to do. It just, it just does it. So, good choice, really, I suppose. Remember, this is built from scratch, as far as I'm aware. Still, yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, where was it? Well, I installed Shopcut because there was no open shot in the uh, software centre. So I thought, Shopcut, give that a little go. And you have to install Jack, by the way, so I have to install Jack as well on top of that to get it to work. I'll open it up for you. I've given it a little go. It works all right. And it does 4K. All right. Some of the newer ones don't do 4K. And I really want 4K. Okay. So I've got on my new machine, I can do 4K videos. Some of the stuff I do use, you can't edit in 4K. I know, it was a bit of a bummer, really. Yeah, I know. But hey, these things are meant to try us. So if we go to video mode, <clears throat> these are the formats you can work in or export to. 
And as you can see down here, Ultra HD 2160. Nice. And in 60 frames a second. Whew, even with my machine trouble like that? No, I don't think so. Okay. So yeah, that's Shotcut. If you want to give it a go, give it a try. It's not too bad, actually. It's missing some features, but hey, you can't have everything, can you? Even though we want to. Okay. Obviously, I'm, I've installed a simple screen recorder because you're looking at me now. And sound to change your volumes and settings and everything. So I open it up for you. There you go. All there for you. Nice. So this is my hardware I'm using. My input is the microphone. As you can see, I'm moving along as I'm doing these. Lovely. So yeah, working nice. Okay. Under system tools, Kadja, G parted, of course. Log file viewer, make 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 disk usage analyzer. The Mate System Monitor. Actually, I am recording at the same time, so obviously my CPUs would go whoosh, and it's an old one, but it's coping quite well at 30 frames a second. I tried it at 60 frames a second. It was okay, but shh, do I need to do 30, 60 frames a second on some distros? No, not really. No, not really. And this is just an old test machine, and it's just doing fine. Okay. See you later. Right. Next on the agenda, under System Tools, we have power statistics, statistics, statistics. This tells you what's all going down in your machine. Nice. It's nothing nice to have. You don't we really get that sort of stuff in other distros, do you? No, you don't. So anyway, down to the control centre. Here, of course, you can do all your network print settings, shared folders, etc. Time and date, your hardware drivers. I have installed the NVIDIA driver for this GTX 750 Ti, which I found in a drawer, because the other one was a bit noisy. Your appearance, your windows, pop up notifications about me, etc. The NVIDIA X server settings, I'll just open it up for you, you can have a quick look. The driver we're using is 37526, so that's quite a current one for this card. Bear in mind the card is quite. Oh, yeah, 750 Ti, isn't it? Yeah. What settings are we using? Let's have a look. I only get two choices of settings here with this driver. Okay, that's fair enough. When I used it on Zubuntu, well, this was a Zubuntu machine the last time I used it. I had three different settings, but that was an older driver, I think. I'm, I can't remember now. No, I can't remember. Okay. So we put that. Okay, and that's that. What else was I going to show you? Okay, the software center. This is a nice little I actually enjoyed using this. It made a bit of a change. So you get some presets here that you can have a look at, or you can search, of course. So what I was going to do, I was going to go to multimedia and graphics. Uh, where was we? Blah, 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 blah. Graphics over here. You get the option of Blender, Dark Table. These are the ones that are not installed, by the way. Photax, G Color, Gimpage, Gnome Photo, Jimmy Review, Hugging, Inkscape. That's full, of course. Not Inkscape. Like my paint and Pinter. Pinter. Shotwell is here, is also variety for your wallpaper changer. I used it on another distro a while ago, and it's, yeah, it's alright. That's what it says. So, this is how easy it is to install stuff on this machine. So, I go down to Gimpage, right? You click on him, it tells you a little description. And there's the installed size, only 64 megabytes. So I'm just going to click on install. There we go. And that's the extras that it wants to install. I click on the install. It wants my password, so I'm going to put that in for you. And we'll just wait. There we go. It's downloaded all six. And off we go. And it's now installing for us. And while it's doing that, I have a quick drinkage of water. Oh no. Still on the wagon. <laughs> oh, and that's how quick it was. Okay. So we'll close that. Go back to our menu, go back to graphics, and in theory, I said, did you see I said in theory? Yeah, in theory it should be there. So I'll search for it. Okay, so we'll go to GIMP. Ooh, not found. Maybe I have to restart the system. Or shall I just wait a little bit longer? Go to graphics again. So we'll go to all. Might be there. Hmm. Well, that's weird, isn't it? I didn't expect that to happen. No. I was expecting it to come straight up in here. But hey. After restart, it will probably be there. So I'm not too worried. But this is when you do a thing on hardware, real hardware like this. These things happen and you get to know the system a bit more on how it works. Because they don't all work the same, as you well know. No, no. So should we do another one just in case? It might be just me, I don't know. So if we go back to... Ooh, might be doing graphics again. Go back to graphics. Right. I've done that, didn't I? So it's installed. Yeah, fair enough. So if I go down to, where should we do? We'll do Image Magic, or no, Inkscape would do. A nice small one, normally. Okay. Click on Install. Install again. Click in my password. It downloads all the stuff. 
dum 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 so this will, if that CPU is 2009, don't quote me on it, but we'll have a look in a minute. That makes this a seven, eight year old machine. Easy, easy, and the RAM is bits of RAM. I'm just looking at it now, actually. So anyway, we've installed Inkscape. I mean, in theory, that should be under graphics, yeah? Yeah? Don't just, anyway, just in case, graphics. The Inkscape's not there either. What about if I search for it? No, so obviously needs a reboot afterwards. Pfft, never mind. One of those things. Didn't that, that didn't happen to leave Ruffus, I don't think. Or maybe it just took its time. I just can't remember at the moment. But hey. Ho, oh, soon go. Anyway, back to our internet section. So once we open the fox, like so. Quick drink is while I'm here. Gone all dry today. Mm. It comes up with a main solus page. This is where you can download it. So if I click on download for you, because you go and give it a go. Real hardware is best. Sometimes it works in the box, sometimes it doesn't work in the box. All depends on the size of your screen as well. Bear in mind I've got a massive screen in front of me and sometimes it just doesn't work well. So this is Solus here, the budget desktop. And this is Solus Mate. Mate. Whatever you want to call it. System requirements for this one. DVD drive or USB port. Minimum USB drive size of 2 gig. 10 gig of disk space available. We'll just keep the whole disk if we're going to use it. And 2 gig of RAM. Well, I've got 3, so that does the business here. So that's plenty, isn't it? Plenty, plenty. It does have the old NVIDIA uh, drivers, so you have to go there. It'd be nice when you're playing your games and stuff. Right, on the whole, I've had a really nice experience in using Solus. I really have. I really enjoyed it. And it's nice to see, from many moons ago, how he started when he left the, the Linux Mint Debian section and went to start on his own, how it's come along, and he's got really good with what he does, basically. Yeah, like it. Nice one, Ike. And the boys, of course. Solus. Oh, you like it? I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Sneaky Linux going out. That's it, is. By the way.